you could say this is a, not a human, it isn't, certainly isn't a normal human gait. But that argument depends entirely on the framing speed of the camera. The other point is this. If the film was taken at 24 frames a second, which I think is an unusual speed to set a, a camera at, yeah. an amateur uh, photographer wouldn't usually well, work at 24 unless he's trying to get a special effect. Well, no. Um, TV speed. If you want to make any film, be shown on television, have to be 24. Now, would this have been in the mind of the photographers at the time? Take my own case. You know, sometimes I take my film at, I forgot now, if it's 16 or 18 yeah. or 24. Um, for example, when I take animals, you know, or a marmot or something, I take 16 or 18. Because, you know, I want to save film, which is really stupid. But, I don't know, Patterson being quiet about this type of film speed because he wanted to make a documentary of the area and of the footprint, so he might have said it at 24. Mm. Now, could, could you shoot 29 feet on one wind of the camera? Right, I think you checked on that. That camera, you, if it is fully wound, yeah. you can shoot 40 feet. Okay, now, so not, that's all right. uh, um, Now, the question is, is this 40 feet at 24 or 40 feet at 18? I've I'm going to check. It doesn't matter. It just it is capable of turning 40 feet of film through the camera. Right. It can do it fast or it can do it slow. Well, if it is 24 frames a second, then the combination of stride, time of swing, cycle time, um, all fits into a human pattern of gait. When the um, striding, as to say, the distance between the left foot and the left foot in its next place. Right. Um, when the stride length is about 1.1, 1, 1, 1 and a tenth times the person's stature, it all fits. So you could say um, the pattern is compatible with a man dressed in a skin. On the other hand, of course, I can't see the zip. It looks very realistic. I can see the uh, uh, muscle masses in the appropriate places and so on. If it is a fake, it's an extremely clever fake. But um, this is where the story started anyway. Um, but I, I hadn't just looked at the stride and um, time of swing. Um, I've also looked at the pattern of movement at the hip joint and the knee joint. Now, it isn't possible to estimate where the axes of the leg and the thigh are exactly in every frame. Some are much better than others. The ones that I'm fairly sure of, I have plotted out, and I've compared the pattern of movement. If you plot the thigh angle against the knee angle, which is something I do in my own laboratory a lot, um, you get a pattern, a shape. Now, the shape we get for Sasquatch is very similar to a man walking at one and a tenth times his standing height, and a striding, so that um, it all fits at 24 frames a second. I would not be prepared to say that is an, uh, a, a non-human gait. Um, it, it looks uh, very humanoid. Whether the uh, Sasquatch is male or female, this again, um, there are very few frames in which you can uh, make a reliable estimate. I think I would, I would like to base it on the ratio of the width across the shoulders to the width across the hips. Now, towards the end of the film, there are some shots in the distance when Sasquatch is walking away from the camera. And uh, this sort of measurement can be made, but the accuracy is very low. And I wouldn't like to, uh, and, you know, from the measurements I've made so far, I wouldn't like to make any conclusion. So, unknown whether male or female. Let, let's assume now it is 16 or 18. What, what is the difference there? I mean, uh, how would it affect uh, when you say it would be a non-human walk? In which way? Well, uh, for, for the speed that is being achieved in relation to Sasquatch's height, um, Sasquatch is using a much longer time of swing 
That is to say, it takes longer to swing his leg from toe off to heel strike. Um, the time of swing that's used is um, appropriate to half that speed in a human. And um, the pattern of movement of the thigh and knee would be quite different to the one that's found. Um, it, as I say, it's the combination of variables. Each one of these variables is possible for a human, but not in combination. This, this is the real crux of it. It's possible for a human to have that stride in relation to his height. It's possible for that human to have that speed. Um, it's possible for um, the human to have that cycle time, and it's possible for a human to have that time of swing. But the combination of them is not found in the, uh, the human. This is on the 16 or 18 frame a second argument. On the other hand, as I said, they all fit together into a human-like combination at the very 24 frame. 